Welcome back. What's up guys, it's JC and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about 10 things that you didn't know about me. Let's get on to the video. So, fact number one, I went to five different elementary schools. So the first one, in kindergarten, I went to Boulevard Heights Elementary School. Then for my first half of first grade, I went to Palm Cove Elementary. Then the second half of first grade, I went to a school in North Carolina, I don't remember what it was called, but it had like elementary to all the way up to eighth grade, so it was weird. And then came back down, went to some other school to start off second grade. It was like some orange school, I don't know, the mascot was orange or something like that. And the fifth school I went to was Hollywood Park Elementary to finish off my second grade. And then I did third, fourth, and fifth there. So. Those were five different elementary schools I went to. Tip number two, I kind of already said it, but I used to live in North Carolina. It was pretty cool. I used to live there in Greensboro. One day during the winter, I just like woke up to my brother calling my name and I look out the window and it's freaking snowing. That was like the first time we've seen snow and it was so awesome. And my mom was like, you don't have to go to school today. And I was like, say what? Fact number three, I used to have long hair. Take a look. It used to be all the way up to my shoulders. And I think that was when I was like eight years old. I remember this story in second grade where the teacher was putting the class in a line and it was a substitute. She was putting the class in a line boy girl order and there was a boy and then she needed a girl next. And she was looking and then she saw me and she was like, oh, there we go, we need a girl. And I was like, um, I'm a boy. And then she was like, oh, I'm sorry. It was freaking crazy. Fact number four, I used to ride motorcycles. Look at this. This is crazy. We used to have like a little crew. But yeah, I was like eight years old. It was so fun because we used to go to this track, race on there, do some laps and stuff like that. It was really fun. But this leads to the main part of the fact that I got into a motorcycle accident. So one time I was driving out on the street with a couple of my cousins and I was going down and it was raining. So we all came inside. So then once it stopped raining, we went back out. I was riding again. I was going down the, the street and then it started like drizzling again so I was like oh shoot we got to go back inside because that's what we did the first time so I started to do a u-turn and my cousin was speeding down the street and like he didn't realize I was gonna freaking do a u-turn in the middle of the street so that's where I freaking messed up so then I turned and then he crashed into me and we kind of flipped and then my leg was just cooking on the pipe like it was just cooking like a freaking sizzling bacon bruh and then my whole leg was burned. Supposedly like second degree burns are the worst because it's like your nerves aren't burned off yet, but like it's hot. But yeah, that's that. Fact number five, I used to skateboard. I think it was still in like first or second grade or something like that. Yeah, a lot of stuff have happened like a long time ago. I used to skateboard. I would go to freaking skate parks and all that stuff and I would go on the ramps and like, to be honest, I really wasn't that good. On to fact number six, I used to be like a rollerblader, aggressive roller skater. I don't know what it's called. I used to have roller skates and I would go to the skate park. Like the people like you see on the X games that have roller skates and they're doing all those tricks. I thought I was like that, but well, whatever, I don't even know what I was thinking, bruh. But yeah, I would go to the skate park with my skates that I got from Sports Authority. <sighs> Sports Authority. But yeah, I would go to the skate park and the main part, I was like gonna skate on this half pipe. Here's a picture if you don't know what it looks like, but it was like two inches off the ground, like it wasn't flush with the ground. So when I came around to go up it, well, I didn't freaking lift my foot, which I don't know why, but I didn't lift my foot and I tripped over that little part and I went to stop myself. I broke my arm and I got up and cried. No! And then I walked to my dad and I was like, dad, I broke my arm. And then he was like, all right, we're gonna go to the hospital. And we went. Fact number seven, I used to play basketball. I know, I know. I look like a freaking nerd, right? But yeah, I used to play basketball and I was actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Every morning in sixth, seventh, and a little bit of eighth, I was in this morning care. So I'd get dropped off at seven, even though school would start off at 9.45, freaking crazy. Like I had to wake up so early. But anyways, we would just like go outside and play basketball and do that every single day. And I was like pretty good. 
And some people were even like, Jonathan, you're gonna be in the NBA. Yeah, I don't know where that went. Fact number eight, I know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I know, you guys are probably thinking, I'm freaking full of it. No, I know how to solve a Rubik's Cube less than 20 seconds. Here's a Rubik's Cube, and no, it's not like a cheat, cheating Rubik's Cube, it's just, doesn't have stickers on it, so so you can't take off the stickers, huh? All right, so I'm just gonna mix it up real quick. Oh, I'll close my eyes since you guys think I'm gonna be cheating. Like, I don't know why people think that. When I mix up the Rubik's Cube, they're like, oh, you remember the moves. I'm like, how do I remember all these freaking moves? All right, so I think this is fairly mixed up. I had my eyes closed. All right, so now I'm gonna solve it. Ready? All right, so I'm gonna take a look. All right, seems pretty good. Ready, set, go. Oh. Oh. That's how you solve a Rubik's Cube in less than 20 seconds. Fact number nine, I was on the swim team at my high school in uh, my senior year and not too many people know this. That was my first actual high school real sport like that I've actually signed up for and had to try out for and things like that. My first time being on a varsity team, a school team, like anything like that. Cause I was always so like nervous to like join teams and things like that. But it was freaking fun. I still have my, my cap. At first, I thought it was so weird that we had to like wear a cap and goggles. If you're on a swim team, everyone has to wear it so you there's no reason to feel embarrassed but like you just put your hands inside and you put this on your head like that and then you get your goggles you put them on like this and yeah like i'm blind so i had to wear my glasses like this right so i put my goggles on top and it would actually make me faster not gonna lie like see like i could literally see perfectly like 20 20 in the water and like I was way freaking faster than everybody because I had my glasses on if I didn't have my glasses on I was usually like so freaking slow but my glasses like boom instantly 10 second 50 free yeah. all right enough of this on to the last fact, fact number 10. As you guys know, I'm going into college. I just graduated high school, but what you may not know is that I'm going into architecture and I'm doing this program. So in five years, I'll have my master's degree. It's like an accelerated master's program. So the first two years I'm doing undergraduate coursework, all my prereqs and things like that. And then after two years on my third year, I start graduate coursework, doing these classes that are like a little bit harder or whatever. But five years I'll have my master's degree, so that's cool. And yeah, that's about it. Those are 10 facts that you may not have known about me. Some of you guys probably know, like, but whatever. Now you know for sure. Those of you who don't know, now you know 10 facts about me that you didn't know. And then those of you who probably didn't know me at all, now you know 10 things about some random stranger on YouTube. Let's be friends. That's it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!